says, decline reports weakness, dizziness, lightheadedness, and is exhibiting the following telemetry strip. The nurse administered the atropine sulfate intravenously, which data best describe or best indicates the medication was effective. So in order to answer this question, you have to interpret the EKG strip. In this scenario, we know that the heart rate is about 50, 50 bits per minute. How do I know that? Well, there are two methods to interpreting an EKG. And whichever two methods you use, the heart rate is going to be below 60, which indicates that this is a strip that shows sinus bradycardia. How do I know that is, it is sinus bradycardia? Well, there's a P wave for every QRS. The PR interval is normal. It is regular. So this is sinus bradycardia. The heart rate is below 60. So if I know that this is sinus bradycardia, which answer tells me that the medication atropine was effective? Well, you know that atropine, uh, atropine can be given to increase the heart rate, okay? Atropine is also given in other conditions. But let's skip to this scenario. So if the patient has sinus bradycardia, how do I know that it got better? Look at answer number one. The client's apical pulse rate is 68. No more bradycardia. Now it went back to the normal range, 60 to 100. So answer number one tells me that the patient is better. Once again, what was the problem on the stem of the question? Symptomatic sinus bradycardia. Dizziness, weakness, lightheadedness, but also bradycardia, accordingly to the strip. So what is the problem? Bradycardia. Which answer shows that the patient got better, improved, the medication was effective, increase in the heart rate. So the strip shows decrease heart rate. Answer number one shows improvement of the heart rate. I like this answer. Remember, I'm not putting very difficult questions because I want you to learn the concept. Problem discovered, bradycardia. Which answer shows an improvement to the problem? Increase in heart rate. Answer number one sounds like a great answer. Answer number two, the client's blood pressure is 110 over 70. There is no objective description of the blood pressure on the stem of the question. So by answer number two, I cannot identify if it improved. Plus, atropine has very low effect on the blood pressure. Okay? So answer number two, eliminated. The client's oral mucosa is moist. Okay? This does not make sense. Okay? The side effect that we usually see with atropine is dry mouth, not moist oral mucosa. So answer number three, I can eliminate for content and also does that indi indicate any improvement in the bradycardia? No. So answer number three, eliminated. Answer number four, the client ambulates to the bathroom safely. And yes, there is an important word here on answer number four. Safety is extremely important, but also remember this. If a patient is experiencing weakness, dizziness, and lightheadedness, unless we have already validated that the patient is better, the patient shouldn't be walking. But even though, let's say that the patient is better, is able to walk to the bathroom safely, 
it does not indicate an improvement on the stem of the question, which, are, which was bradycardia. Answer number four eliminated. The correct answer is number one.